Pop Trigger Time! Yeah. Oh my goodness! We have a really rambunctious uh, panel right here. I feel high like we're energy. gonna have a really good high, high energy. energy show. All right, so without further ado, hey everyone, I'm Samantha Shocker, our co-host today, our very own Brie Esrig. You can subscribe to her YouTube channel, at Brie Esrig, and something's going on. So I did a video with Shauna. We got super drunk and we reviewed the movie Teeth. Wait, really? Oh, my channel, so you should check it out. Oh <laughs> my together. goodness, I cannot <laughs> wait. And first time in the Pop Trigger studio, you guys know him from his YouTube channel, Dang Matt Smith. Matt Smith is here. Good, good, good. Yeah. So your YouTube channel, I think, is really fun. He does a lot of freestyle comedy, funny yes. how-tos. Of all yes. your funny how-tos, do you have a favorite? I do, but it's one that I can't talk about on camera. Why? Why not? <laughs> um, because, uh, well, it's about how to uh, talk about well. <clears throat> Sex. Oh, you can talk about that here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not everybody's, uh, you know, virgin ears, everybody. So um, what do you actually fun. show them? I show them, well, <laughs> me, it's... <laughs> Your penis. Bye, bye. I don't show too much. I don't show too much. It's just... just a tip? Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. Honestly, it's just me, you know, playing like I'm the dad. And then the point of view of the camera is the son. And then I'm oh. teaching him, you know, the different things. Uh, I you love know, that it's, one. It, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, and back in the Pop Trigger studio, rocking a cute new haircut, Shauna Malcolm is here. <laughs> and of course, you can subscribe to her YouTube channel, Hey Yo Shauna. Mm. And then also, did I hear that you're doing a 5K? That's right. What? I'm actually really, really trying to raise some funds for cancer research. So I'm working with this, um, the Concern Foundation. It's all of the money goes to cancer. Like it's it's one of the most highly rated organizations in terms of the money actually getting to where it's supposed to get to. Nice. And so I'm gonna run my tubby ass on the mm. 8th of March. March 8th, okay. To um, uh, in the LA Marathon, it's gonna be part of that. So it's gonna be a 5K, which is a lot for me. It's, that's a lot. So y'all need to go ahead. There's gonna be a link. You can support it if you got a dollar. Mm. I'd appreciate it if you're in LA. Come run with me. Join Team McNiglet's Fight Cancer. <laughs> That's right. That's what I named it. Mm -hmm. So we want to be able to help. So yes. we're going to put a link to, which is going to be what? Your direct link to donate to, to you? Yes, to donate to, 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 the, the, to the team right. that goes direct. Everything goes to the Concern Foundation. Or if you want to sign up and just join and come walk with my oh, WS. That's amazing, Shauna. Oh. Congratulations. Two points for Shauna. I love it. Good for you. Yeah, did you just do a boo? Oh, my God. You have been initiated. He is. You You can permanently sit there. Yes. Yes. Um, you can you can replace Brett. Just kidding, oh, Brett. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sorry, Brett. Just kidding. And you can catch me live at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern on Dr. Drew on Call on HLN, and then on the weekends on CNN. So make sure you tune in. All right, shall we get right to it? Thank you so much for being here. More Shia LaBeouf drums. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Shia's latest crack at performance art, aside from his plagiarism and wearing the paper bag on his head, remember? And then storming out of the press conference. Now he's doing live performance art. And this took place over the weekend in West Hollywood. Um, hashtag I am sorry, which is actually the name of this live performance exhibit where he sat in a gallery and anybody could sit with him with no maximum time cap. So literally people could sit with him for a few minutes and then have the choice to leave. Or they could sit with him for one girl sat with him upwards of an hour. Yeah, and I guess Shia just sat there in his suit with his little paper bag on his head. And um, what's interesting though is people, of course, lined up for hours, right? Because this is a famous actor celebrity. So people lined up all around the block, four hours, six hours to have their time with Shia. He didn't talk to anybody. In fact, they interviewed people online and people that were coming out and saying that all he did was sit there. I guess he would cry a few times. He would actually hug you if you went in for a hug. He would reciprocate the hug, but that was it. Um, but how Rudnick, you guys know him from Screen Junkies, he stuck in a camera. Yeah, he did. So he waited the four to six hours in line, went in there with his camera, and um, he berated Shia LaBeouf with questions. Now, Shia just stood there. His eyes got watery a few times while Hal was asking him these hard-hitting questions. For instance, um, he asked him things like, okay, so that he couldn't forgive him for Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> he was like, I can't forgive you for those movies. Um, he also showed him a clip from Even Stevens. Remember, Disney's Even Stevens. We were all huge fans. And he asked him, like, what happened to that awesome kid? And things like that. And he's getting some backlash because some people are saying that he was mean 
to Shia LaBeouf. And his response to that was, quote, I want to reiterate that I legitimately hope that he is okay, but it's not clear what he's doing. Shia LaBeouf is not a sacred cow. The smacks of something potentially very, this smacks of something potentially very manipulative. And at the end of the day, we just wanted to go in there and speak honestly. You're giving us an opportunity. Okay, I'm going to go in there and say what a lot of other people want to say. Thoughts, five words or less. Hashtag I am bored. Do it for the Shia. <laughs> Shia plagiarizes Helen Keller. Hashtag I am sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, I don't even know. Okay, I don't even know where to begin with this. Okay, um, let's start with Hal and Hal sneaking in the camera. Did you think? Oh, also, Hal took off the paper bag off his head. Yeah, but I think that there was a number of times that Shia LaBeouf took off the paper bag because then how did some people know that he was crying? Did he have holes? He, went, no, he, he had holes? Oh, okay, holes in the so bag. they saw his, his eyes well up. Okay. He had holes. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Bree. Okay, so yeah, uh, Hal also removed his paper bag from his head and Shia didn't do anything. He just sat there. You can watch the video. Uh, what did you guys think of him going in there? Do you agree with the people that are criticizing Hal from Screen Junkie saying that it was mean-spirited? Or do you think that he went in there asking the hard-hitting questions that all of us are thinking? Well, I mean, definitely ask the hard-hitting questions because honestly, the people, they want to know and they're too afraid to do it themselves. I wonder if he documented it. If this is all part of like, in a, in a year, he's going to show this documentary of all of his performance uh, art, which I think is him just... Phoenix. Yeah. Which I think is him just trying to make up for the fact that he plagiarized and he's trying to make it look like that this was all on purpose. I do think it is somewhat mean-spirited because this, the idea of the, the piece is, you know, he's here and he's just sharing the space with you or whatever it is. And I come from a really wonky art school, so mm -hmm. I, I can respect performance art. Yeah. I really, you know, it may seem weird, it may seem whatever it is, but the, each thing has its own meaning and its own value. However, you are a public figure. You have done some things that are slightly inexcusable and that you just continue to seem to try to skirt around by doing more weird things. So you up the ante on the weirdness and then expect that to just kind of take care of whatever you did before, but yes. it doesn't excuse your behavior. So in the context of these questions are there, everybody is wanting to answers to these questions. I don't know if I can really fault him that yeah. much. I don't, yeah. I, I don't I think know. I think you put it perfectly. I agree with you. I mean, yes, when I heard him say like, oh man, I blame you for, you know, Indiana Jones and stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> you're saying that to the actor's face and you're, he's in a very vulnerable position sitting there. But again, given his history and his prior behavior and everything that we're thinking, I mean, I can't fault him either. So what do you think, Bree? I think that Hal is in on it with Shia. Really? I think Good. this was a set, like a setup. This was supposed to be exposed because how do you sneak in a video camera to something like that? Mm -hmm. And how are there not like is there not like a bodyguard Security or somebody watching? Mm -hmm. You know what and I mean? And he is known from Screen Junkies. He's done things like this with other actors, not like this, but he's he definitely when he's gone to press junkets and interviewed like Robert De Niro and other big actors, he's done really off the cuff weird things like having them recite lines from pop songs. Like I think he had Robert De Niro recite Wrecking Ball. So he does. So um, how does things that are outside of the box, maybe Shia's people or Shia himself thought to involve him and expose it that way. I'm thinking it's either that or he recorded the voiceover in post and he didn't actually say those things to Shia. I'm thinking he just filmed that Shia. That is good, Brie. I do think that, I do think that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that all, I'm all about what Brie is saying. Now, okay, so if you guys were a big actor, would you ever consider doing performance are and would you do something like this? I'm all about the physicality and playing with space, paint. I'd be somebody rolling around painting something with my body. Like I think that I think that would okay. be I think owning your body is something that I'm all about. I know that there's ways to be healthy and unhealthy and all these other factors, but I think that owning what you look like is something that I think my brand or Shauna is I'm just all about that. So I would do something with like the naked body. Okay. Just like all them titty meats, okay. all that. Just hey, what out. would you do, Matt? Yeah, I'd do something with the naked body, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I'd do something like what Shia did. I mean, it's cool, you know, having people, they can come in and meet you. Yeah. But 
you know, say something. You know, talk to them. They have questions. You know. So you do a meet and greet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly. You would do <laughs> VidCon. <laughs> I do. A, I right, do right, VidCon. Right, right. I would do the same thing as Shia because it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> it's douchey and hilarious, but I'm self-aware of it, so that's what makes it. Maybe he is too. I would plagiarize Shia plagiarize. Okay. What? Interesting. I would want to be a mime. I think I would like with all white face and just like stand like that's by. Racist. Like a popular window, maybe like at uh, Barney's or something, and just instead of being the mannequin, I would be miming. Okay, so what do you guys think about Shia LaBeouf's recent performance, live performance art? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.